Good morning, good day, and good evening. This is Liam, the Retro Gamer 91, back with The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. This is part 13. Now we left off entering the graveyard as we are about to start the Shadow Temple. But just before we actually do continue on with the Shadow Temple, I just want to head to Death Mountain. Uh, so firstly, Let's get the... What's it called? It's called the Goron Tunic, isn't it? Okay, so... And... We're gonna just warp straight there. Oops. There we go. So I think it's the first time since learning that tune that we've actually used it. Okay, so there's actually a reason that we've come here. Uh, there is a great fairy fountain here, which uh, she actually doubles your magic meter. And with us going into the Shadow Temple, we're going to be using the uh, Lens of Truth, which of course uses your magic meter. So we just need to find the entrance to it. Which isn't exactly far. Oh, there's a piece of heart up there. I think it's this one. So let's bomb it. Oh, hammer? Yep, hammer it is. Here we go. Yeah, this is our first time here. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Receive it now. Magic meter is enhanced. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you have twice as much magic power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. There we go. So now we're ready for the graveyard. So now that we've done that... Oops. There we go. So, onto the graveyard and into the Shadow Temple. So, playing that tune is the only way I think you can get up here. Unless you can use the long shot onto that fence, but I don't I'm not too sure if that works. So I've gotta light every single torch. I think this requires Din's fire, I think. Very cool. Okay, so in we go. Here we are at the Shadow Temple. So, like with all these temples, 
there is a key item that we'll be getting from here. Uh, okay, let's. I think we're ready to go in now. The shadow will yield only to one with the Eye of Truth handed down in Kakariko Village. There you go. As you can see, the Lens of Truth, or Eye of Truth. Is it Lens or is it Eye? I'm sure it's Lens. Lens of Truth, yeah. It reveals what's fake and what's real, of course. So there's a puzzle here, straight off the bat. Make my beak face the skull of truth. The alternative is descent into the deep darkness. Well, there's the real skull. So, we just need to turn this thing all the way around. And there we have it. Whoops. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, well that's never happened before, but... And when I say it's never happened before, it's because I've never got it wrong before. It's just nothing seemed to activate, so... Uh, mm, never mind. Alright, let's go. Again. Well, that's a good example of what not to do. Okay, here we go. That's not ro- Oh, does it change? Okay, this is embarrassing. I've never failed at this easy puzzle like this before. I guess it changes. Oh, so it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. So there's actually a door through there as well. Let's have a little wonder. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Very good. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Shadow Temple. Okay, it says the same thing again. What's through here? What is hidden in the darkness? Tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. I can, I can. Ow. What is hidden in the darkness? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the walls just going to constantly talk to me? Oh, hello. Oh, great. Dead hand. This time we have... Now, I said in the last episode I wasn't going to use this, but I feel... I feel as though we didn't get it for nothing, did we? Ah, get off me. Oh, he's right next to me. Come on. Ow. That's better. Give me at least a some chance. There we go. Oh, that was easy.
and with his defeat we have gained... I think this is our key item. Yep, the hover boots. With these mysterious boots you can hover above the ground. The downside, no traction. You can even use these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. <laughs> nice, uh, nice way to put it there. So we just need to. Oh uh, yes, we've the walls keep talking to me. We've already heard all this. Let's get back to the main, main hall. I find the Shadow Temple to be one of the easier temples. I don't know why. Despite what, despite the display I've just shown, trying to get this gate open as well. Whoops. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. No traction. Just enough though to reach it. So we're forever going to be changing our boots here. And that's a that's an enemy that needs a bomb. And away it goes. So, we've got fake walls here. I'm sure this is fake as well. Okay, so we've got doors to the left and right. Let's start with the left one. Ooh! Okay, so the silver rupees to collect. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. Ow. Uh, there's one up there, so do I need the long shot? Or can I just climb up? Ah, oh, there's the... There's the hook I need. Round and round and round I go. Jump and I still get hit. What's in here? Ooh, okay. Ah. Is this our small key? It is our small key! Back out the way we came. Oh, that thing's reappeared. Okay, so that's the right hand route now. Oh, that was easy. Ooh, a big chest. I'm gonna guess that this is the dungeon map. Oh, now the compass, okay. A bit backwards, we usually get the dungeon map first. Oh well. Let's progress. So I know uh, recent videos I've been doing uh, are uh, shorter than my usual, but with this one I might just break that new rule that I've that I've set, uh, only because I want to really, I don't want to make two videos in one temple. Uh, I don't like the idea of breaking gameplay like that. So this video will be as long as it takes to uh, complete the temple. If I do that within my half an hour-ish time slot, then then great. If not, then oh well. Nothing 
nothing behind us, is there? No. Oh, of course, there's another spider. I'm sure there's another one around here as well. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, you're dead. Oh, there's a lot of rupees there. That's not fair. Wow, this is... very dangerous. <laughs> Ooh, you're new. And down he goes. Ah, invisible floors. So what's in here? Ooh. <laughs> Ow. Oh, is it one of them where I've got to defeat all the enemies? Nice, one hit and it's down. I don't understand why that's... Hmm. There we go. Is it a defeat all the enemies kind of deal? I think I see another one over there. There we go. Ah, a gold, a gold sculpture. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Destroyed a gold sculpture. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Can't remember how many that makes. Oh, five rupees. Okay, and I saw this one here. Arrows! Okay, so this this direction was completely optional. <laughs> Didn't have to go down here whatsoever. Oh well, it's done. Just more of the dungeon conquered. Oh, is that... That enemy's going to come back, isn't he? Of course he is. Can I edge him off? Okay, I think you need the hover boots for this one. Whoa! Don't scared. Uh, which way? Let's go this way. Whoa. Okay, that is dangerous. Oh, let's bomb this thing. I don't need the ocarina. Why is that still as in me? List of three items. Oh, that was good. Ow. One more. What's through the door? Ow. Okay, with me having the lens of truth on constantly, I suppose we're not seeing what is exactly hidden. We're just seeing it as it well as it is. Okay, so we're using this to block the the spikes from dropping. Okay, what 
bits in here. More arrows. What's in here? Oh, another gold scorchula. Okay, so that's two gold sculptures I've got out of here. I actually don't know how many are in this dungeon. Okay, so do I... Oh, okay, I do need to drag it compl uh, uh, the complete way. Okay. So I'm just drag it up here, just so I can get up here. Okay, please be a small key. And it is a small key. Excellent. Okay, so the compass is detecting another item in this, another chest. Get in. So where is this mystery chest? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Ow. I don't know where the chest is. I don't really want to leave without it. Oh, okay. I There it is. Oh, don't jump down. Come on. Climb. Up. And over. And over again. Oh, is that it, really? Oh, I didn't have to jump over. Okay. Okay, well, so far we're conquering every room that we're coming in. Can't really complain about that. I suppose back on with the... Oh, no, no need. Oh, really? He chipped me. Okay, I'm not bothering fighting you. Oh, come on. Get away. Oh, he fell over anyway. And now we just wait patiently. There we go. And again. Ooh, there's spikes around here. Oh god, we could use with them we could use the magic. So that's made another small box appear. Let's see what's in this one. More rupees. So angling ourselves, we can get the others as well. Uh, how many more? Is it one? Yeah. And away we go. Them spikes look vicious. Okay, that's a giant skull. 
I think for this we just throw a bomb in it. Ow. There we go. I can hear another skull chiller. Did we really come here just for, again for another skull chiller? I mean, I'm not complaining, so. Ah, oh, no. There we go. And we got ourselves a small key as well. Really can't complain about that. And there's another skull chiller. So. That's our third one, isn't it? Excellent. Ah, it's a hidden one. Okay, this is cool. They've actually got something like this in the Wind Waker in one of their temples as well. Where you need to use the Iron Boots. Otherwise, you get blown away. Just go. What's through here? Oh, get off me. I know he's going to get on me. Get off. I really should take these iron boots off. There we go. Here I can hear the spirits whispering in the room. Those who have the sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they will be led to the hidden path. That's what they are saying. So, oh, there's actually a... Ah. Oh, hidden box. More arrows. Okay, we get it. Arrows are going to be needed. So, we've got to let this fan carry us away. There we go. So, let's bomb this. chest. There's our small key. Oh, you're not going to catch me in time. Ow. My health is really poor in this one. You're not going to get me. Wow, nice freeze frame there, Link. Oh, get off. Okay, so that is all the zombies dead. Another five rupees. Wow, I wish I had a bigger wallet. Ah, here we are. So, we're actually progressing through this dungeon really quickly. So, let's move this over here. And I think what that's given us there is actually a shortcut. I 
think that leads us back to the top, or back to the beginning. And I can yet, and I can hear yet another gold sculpture. There we go. So what's up here? Is there a gold sculpture? I know what that room is. Before, when we entered the room with the silver rupees, there was an entrance that uh, had a massive hole in the floor. We didn't examine it, but that's where this leads. Oh, just drop down. Okay, that's really irritating me. I can hear it, but I can't see it. There it is. How do I get over there? I don't know how to get over there. Will that reach? Remarkable. Excellent, another one. Okay, whoop, what am I doing? Okay, so, with this, we need to play us a little song. So here we are, riding on the boat to hell. This will take us into the darkest depths of the Shadow Temple. Basically, it's taken us to the, the dungeon boss. We've still not picked up the dungeon map. Where is it? Oh. So we really did miss it, didn't we? at the very beginning. So here we come into the, literally the last area of the dungeon now. This is why I think it's so easy. It's almost so straightforward. There's been very little open space. It's just been one set track, really. So here we are. Link, the ship is sinking. Abandoned ship, get to a safe platform. Oh, wow. It sank really quickly. Okay, so this is why th this dungeon's been feeding us arrows non-stop. Get the lens of truth back there. Okay. So there we go, we just made ourselves a bridge. But there is a door here that we need to explore. Ooh, there's uh, giant hands. I forget what they're called. I think the are they floor masters. I think they're called. Ow! Oh great! I actually don't have any healing items, do I? Oh no, I do have a fairy. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on. Oh, and it's split into three little ones. Okay, if one of these grabs hold of me, it'll, like, drain the life out of me and grow. So, hold still. Actually, I don't know why I'm wasting so much time with these things. It, as soon as I leave the area and come back, they'll just respawn. Okay, so this isn't exactly challenging on telling you what you need to do. Yeah, we'll use these. Conserve our bombs. That's one. I hear another gold sculptula. I just missed that one. No, oh, and just missed that one. You know what? Actually, let yeah, let's use bombs. There goes one. Missed that one. Come on, one, two, three. Oh, that would have gone in. Where's that annoying spider? I'm sure that went in. And we've got it. Oh, really? For the one thing I can't collect? Oh, there's you at least. I take it you're the, uh, the last gold sculpture of the dungeon. So I actually don't know how many we've got so far. How many do we have? 33. Okay, so that means that we've cured someone else. I can only hope that it's better than the... Oh, why did I do that? I can only hope his reward is better than the previous ones. Let's change him back into green anyway. Um, what was I going to do? Ah, yes. I get so side I get sidetracked so easily. Ah. Ah, wrong one. Uh oh. Here we go. Ooh, it's an invisible one. Yeah, floor master. I was right. Ow. Is he going to split? He's going to split. There we go. Oh, look, a little box. Small key, that's what we're after. Ah, I really need to swap the lens of truth and the bombs around. Things the way out. And across the newly formed bridge that we made. Okay, so let's see what's our final hurdle. Oh. There must be another door. Yes, there is. I went to the wrong room. Okay, so back across.
I wasn't expecting that to be the route to the boss room. I was expecting it to be another room, but never mind. So, we're looking for oh, that one. So I think this is the door that we're after. It is as well. <coughs> okay, so we've got fiery spikes coming at us. Let's burn them. Ooh, zombies as well, I hear. See, I find the defense of the of the boss key. I don't. I don't know. I just find this dungeon really simplistic, especially considering we just came from the water temple. You know, this one just seems very straightforward. Very little. Very little to it. Very straight. Very uh, one one path. So there we go. The boss key. I mean, without exploring too much, we've. Well, there's not very little to explore without without it being a very long thing to do. We've even found all the gold skull chillers. I'm presuming they are anyway. I'm presuming we've got them all. I can't imagine there's much much else left to explore in this uh, in this temple, except for maybe backtracking a bit on uh, just to get the dungeon map. But that, I I would like to think that that will only be one room that we've missed. So here we are, the final room of the dungeon, which looks to be nothing more than a straightforward. Okay. In we go. Whoa! Okay, just before we drop down, let's uh, equip the arrows. So that is the dungeon boss. Phantom Shadow Beast, Bongo Bongo. We've landed on his drum. So the idea is we stun his hands. I need to take these boots off, they did not help me then. Ah, what's it doing to me? Okay, let's get back on his drum. Okay, so... See, he's not a very hard boss either. And with this sword, I'd imagine we've probably just done half his health in. Wow, that was so easy. And that's and that's the big Goron sword, everybody. That <laughs> when they say it's more powerful than, ma in, than the Master Sword in this game, they're not joking. That was a boss. That was a dungeon boss. And now I've got this sword, it'll do that to the next boss. And even the last boss. <laughs> well, there we go, another heart container. I really should 
uh, do another round of getting pieces of hearts. I know there's a few places where we've not really tried to get them yet. So let's uh, get the sage of this dungeon, the medallion. See what they've got to say. So the chamber of sages. And would you look who it turns out to be? The boy with the noble Zelda's ocarina. As I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon you will meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the Six Wise Ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. You received the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. And there we have it. The Shadow Temple. So, with that now done, we've got one temple, one sage left uh, to complete basically. Uh, the rest of the game is more side quests and mini games to which we've done a good chunk of them already. So it's really just the pieces of heart. Ah, uh, there we go. The bad weather's now left. So the village is back to normal. We're slowly slowly returning the land of Hyrule back to its former self. Uh, with that in mind, Let's check out the Gold Scorchula house, seeing as we've got a couple more now. Let's see what they're going to gift us. There he is, the happy guy. The curse has been broken, thank you. Here's a reward for you. Giant wallet, that's what we want. It's 500 rupees. Please save my other brothers too. I'm sure they'll give you something a lot better. Will you do it? Uh, okay, so that's three. So then we've got this guy here. And then the one there. So basically 40 gold scorchulas, 50 gold scorchulas. So yep, yeah, we're lifting the curse. Okay, so now we finally got a giant's wallet. That would have been great if we'd got that before the Shadow Temple, given how many rupees they like to throw at us. Oh, I can't even find a single rupee. Roll into the box. No, nothing. Oh well. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, It's certainly been fun to do the Shadow Temple. It is one of my favourites, even though I do find it somewhat straightforward. Uh, so yes, I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please consider giving me a like. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, that way you can keep up to date with 
uh, our journeys through Hyrule and any other video that I do. Uh, okay, this has actually been done rather late. This was in, this was meant to be Wednesday's video, but unfortunately uh, something came up and I've had to do it now. Uh, so actually we'll be doing a Legend of Zelda for Saturday, so we'll be having a continuation to this tomorrow. And then after that we'll have our Pokemon Crystal uh, sun Sunday weekendly video. Uh, so if you subscribe you can keep up to date that way. Uh, you can also see me on Twitter and Facebook. Twitter is at the Retro Game 91. Facebook is at, is at the Retro Gamer 91. Uh, but lastly and once again, uh, thank you for watching. I do, I do hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And as always, this is Liam, the Retro Gamer 91, signing off.